Hey everyone. Let's see. Should I get this thing brighter? Ooh, that's better. Uh, let's give everybody a minute to join. I know I'm a couple minutes late here, but when your dog is like, I gotta go outside. So, let's see. Um, I'm excited to talk to you guys tonight about my ultimate reset experience. It was pretty incredible. So I'm just gonna wait a minute here and hope a couple people jump on. It doesn't always tell me right away, so hope that a few of you are there. Although I don't mind talking to myself either, so that's fine. If you're here, give me some hearts, say hello. Hey Susie, hi, yay. Okay, a couple of people are here, I'm ready. Okay, so as you guys know, I just completed the Ultimate Reset on Sunday. For those of you who don't know what the Ultimate Reset is, it's a gentle cleanse, hey guys, from Beachbody, where you um, go from a lean meat, fruit, vegetable week to a um, cutting out the lean meats, cutting out dairy the second week, and then the third week you cut out grains and legumes, and it's all fruits and vegetables. And you take some supplements along with that to help um, to help reset your your gut flora. Hey Brandon, hey Rachel, hey guys, ah, oh, my friends. Um, <laughs> and to help you um, change the way that your body is reacting to food and help clear out things that might be sitting around in your um, gut tract, basically, and to help promote healthy gut flora, which is vitally important to the health of the rest of our body. Um, so I was, a little bit nervous about starting the Ultimate Reset. I'd never done anything quite like that, and I wasn't really sure what to expect. I got that box that had like a ton of pills in it and little packets, and I was like, oh no, what have I gotten myself into? But I was pleasantly surprised because as you guys know, I immediately started feeling amazing because it's all laid out for you and you just follow the plan. You don't have to guess about anything. You don't have to worry about what am I going to eat? What am I going to do? What time do I do all this stuff? It's laid out for you. It's so simple. So my basic thoughts about the whole plan is that it's incredible. And if you're looking for something that will give you the instructions of exactly what to do, exactly what to follow, it's perfect. It really did help me address the issues with food that I have, the, the way that I felt just like a slave to my cravings, um, which with Shakeology have been a lot better, but you know what? Little treats and cheats turned into snowball into all kinds of craziness. So that wasn't good for me. And I really needed to figure out like how to gain control back of the way I relate to food and the way I feel about food, uh, especially sugar. That has been my biggest addiction of my entire life. 37 years of a sugar addict and I'm finally recovering, I think. I think. I mean, I'm not saying I'm never going to eat sugar again because that's kind of ridiculous, but I know that it's not going to be a staple of my diet the way it was before. I didn't even recognize the way it was a staple of my diet before. So anyways, let's, let's talk about the cons of the Ultimate Reset because there are some. I said it was amazing and I feel great from it, but it is a strict program. You cook a lot. There is a lot of chopping, a lot of cooking, a lot of salad. And by the end of the third week, I was getting pretty tired of having a big microgreen salad for lunch. The thing is, I mean, it's delicious, but if you want more variety, you have to be disciplined to stick to the plan. So that's one con is that it's, it is laid out exactly of what you need to do. So it makes it, you know, for people that want to be in control of what they're doing and not in, let a program control them, that might be a little bit um, stifling. However, I will say that that being laid out that way makes it easy to follow. So as long as you're willing to give control aside for these three weeks and, and decide that you're going to try something new, try something different than you've ever tried before in your life, then you're sure to have success. Um, other cons are it makes it hard to go to dinner with your friends, <laughs> meet people for lunch. I, um, we went on a road trip and I had to like 
we had a friend out of town and I went on a road trip over to Wyoming for a couple hours. I had to like bring like a case of food with me because I had to have my snacks and my supplements and my lunch and my, <laughs> my next snacks. And it was like I couldn't, we went and sat in a brewery and I couldn't like just have whatever they were having. Now, that was the sacrifice I was willing to make because I knew that I needed to complete this for myself. So there are things that, you know, make it difficult to live your quote unquote regular life because you're not able to do the social eating that you did before. I mean, I was fine with bringing my stuff with me. I have goals and I have things I want to do and I'm not embarrassed to tell anybody what I'm doing. I was excited about it. And I know that that can be intimidating for some people to be like, here, I'm going to sneak this little container out of my purse of carrots that I brought with me. Whatever. I had a big old thing of quinoa and just threw it on there and it went everywhere on the table. We all laughed about it. The waitress was like, you're crazy. And I was like, I know. It was great. <laughs> so the thing is, is, hey, Erica. Hey, Charlie. Um, so the thing is, is there are a few drawbacks that it is, you know, restrictive in the sense that there's a specific plan they want you to follow. And the reason they want you to follow that is so that you're getting a variety of foods and that you are training your body to, to try new things. Because we so often get stuck in a rut of the same food all the time, whether it's a more nutritious food or less nutritious food. I really want us to all get away from this bad food, good food thing. Food is not good or bad. Food is a neutral thing. And it is, there's more nutritious food and there's less nutritious food. But please, if the only thing you take away from this is that you stop saying a food is good or bad, then I will have done my job tonight. Okay, but I'm back off track. So, as far as other cons, um, it's a lot of supplements to take, but it's not that big of a deal. You just take them three times a day. It's not that big of a deal. I just set alarms on my phone and it reminded me and I took care of it because there's no way, you guys know I'm a freaking mess. There's no way I could have remembered that on my own. Um, and then as far as the pros, there are so many pros. <laughs> I don't feel like I am just like a slave to my sugar addiction anymore. I've been off of the reset since Sunday. I had a great taco dinner with my husband. We had um, the opportunity to order dessert. I didn't even want it. And I am the person who would be ordering that dessert themselves. Oh, Erica, I drank about a gallon of water every day. And I'm still doing that. And before I was drinking 90 ounces of water a day and then I upped it to 124. You do have to buy distilled water um, and you need to add the um, Himalayan salt mineralized supplement into it so that you're getting more um, minerals back into your system because they really are like flushing out and resetting the way that your gut is set up. So you really need to add those minerals back in and that's why you have that. So it's a lot of water, but I felt great with all that water. Like my skin felt good. My, I didn't feel so dry and I live in a very dry environment. Utah is a high desert and is very low um, moisture level. And I actually felt really great. So that's a great question. Thank you for asking. Um, but anyway, so it just, it really helped me achieve what I wanted to achieve, which was to change the way I thought about my food and the way I felt about my food and the way I felt about my choices about my food. So now I honestly feel like I could go have some ice cream and I'm not going to feel guilty about it because I know that 99% of the time I'm feeding myself really nutritious vegetables, fruit. Having that huge fruit plate every morning was like a revelation. I have never done that in my life. And I was sitting there like chopping up fruits every morning. And it just made me think about my grandma and how she used to do that every morning for my grandpa. And it was like kind of a sweet memory. And it made me feel good. I was like, I'm doing the same thing that my grandparents did. And how many times have you heard, just eat the way your grandparents ate and you'll be fine. Well, I don't know about the you'll be fine part, but you will feel much better. Um, I ate a lot of vegetables, a lot more that, than I used to because I was following very strictly the plan. And it was a great thing because I would, used to struggle getting all of my green, excuse me, my green containers in every day for the 21 day fix, for country heat, for quarter force. I struggled with that. I can eat protein like there is no tomorrow. And believe me, by the end of the third week, I was like, I cannot wait to eat some eggs. I cannot wait to eat some tacos. I need some chicken. I need some steak. And I had eggs and steak tacos the next day. So there you go. 
I was supposed to like wait two weeks to reintroduce them, but not anymore. That's right, Brandon Fruits Till Noon. I'm so excited about that. I'm gonna keep it going. So, the big thing that everybody wants to know is how much weight did you lose? How many inches did you lose? I lost 11 and a half pounds in three weeks. And that's kind of crazy amazing. And every single day, my husband would look at me and be like, you're like getting more toned every single day. I wasn't doing workouts, I was going for walks and I was doing yoga, the um, Ultimate Reset Yoga that they just released to accompany the program and complement it. And it was a beautiful program. I know yoga is not for everybody, but it's on Beachbody On Demand. You can find it under the yoga suite. Just um, go across till you get to Beach, um, Ultimate Reset. And I personally thought it was such a beautiful, spiritual, but not woohoo kind of experience. And it really did help me feel centered and grounded and like just so much self love. And that is the thing that came out the most over this three weeks is I just felt like I was showing myself so much love. And I used to do that with, I'd go to this gourmet cookie shop called Ruby Snap that's here in Salt Lake City. They are phenomenal. And I would buy, I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna get a cookie for me and a cookie for Jason. And instead I would get a dozen and I would get a bonus cookie because they give you a little like buy a box of cookies and you get a free card and I would do this over and over every month so I always had a card and I would eat one cookie on the way home and then maybe another cookie on the way home and maybe another cookie in the afternoon at my job and then I would wait for Jason to get home and I'd probably sneak another cookie in before then I'd have like four cookies in one afternoon and it didn't even phase me on top of all the other garbage I was eating from my office and now I'm gonna go to Ruby Snap. I'm gonna get a cookie. They have this like incredible lemon head cookie called the Lily. They're all like pinup name girl, girl names. And it's phenomenal. But the idea of eating like four of those in one sitting would make, makes me kind of want to die when I think about it now because I literally detox sugar out of my body. What? Like, <laughs> who even am I? It's crazy. So, I completely lost my train of thought. I'm a hot mess, you guys. I have been trying to act like I am so together and I have, I'm on top of everything and I'm super organized, but I am way not. And I think I'm okay with that. Like that's this, a beautiful thing about this process, like I was saying, is I was showing myself self-love for these three weeks by feeding myself this very nutritious food, by doing this gentle yoga, by doing meditation, by paying attention to and caring about what I was doing for my body. It just was a beautiful experience. And I really wish everybody out there would try it because it looks like, oh, it's just this box of pills and powder and you gotta do all this stuff and cook all these things. But if you really look at it with the intention of you wanna change the relationship you have with food and make yourself have a happier, healthier relationship with yourself, you are going to be successful and you are gonna come out on the other end of that three weeks feeling amazing. So down 11 and a half pounds. I have not measured myself yet. I kind of don't care, but I'm going to do it and I'll do it tonight and I'll put it in the comments because what I have noticed this week since being done with the Ultimate Reset is my eating habits are now the same as they were on the Ultimate Reset. I want the same foods. I'm craving the vegetables. I'm craving the fruit. I, I mean, I'm still craving eggs, let's get real. I made myself a big old plate of eggs. Um, and I, well, that's okay, Susie, you can catch it some other time. Um, I made myself a big plate of eggs, I had toast, I had fruit, and I had avocado, and what did I eat first? I ate the fruit and the avocado. And I had been waiting for two weeks at that point for eggs, that tells you something. So. I will do my measurements tonight because my eating has stayed the same. I've still lost another like pound and a half since I finished the Ultimate Reset. And so I think it's a great program. If, if you are just starting out on your health journey and need like a major jump start to change your nutrition because you have habits that you cannot change, it's perfect for you. If you are years into your journey and you're kind of plateaued and you need something else to shift things up, it's perfect for you. I think it's a great way to change the habits that you have of a lifetime. And now that I've gone through it, 
I can help you. I, I've memorized half the recipes in the book. Like I've tried things that I never tried before, like tempeh, which is now like basically my favorite. And it, it just was a beautiful, great experience. So like I said, I will do my measurements tonight and I promise I will put them in the comments of this video. But I am down at, on Sunday, it was 11 and a half pounds in three weeks. Like that boggles my mind. Like all of, all of my fat and bloating just went I mean, like my face looks different. My face looks different. And that's a freaking miracle to me because I've been calling myself a pumpkin head for like three and a half years, let alone the four years before that when I didn't even, I didn't even love myself enough to make self-deprecating jokes. So my measurements will be in the comments. I know I've gone down like two clothing sizes because like everything feels different on me. My body feels strong. I have so much more energy. I have so much more focus. Even though I'm a complete mess disaster all the time, I still have more focus on what matters. And what matters is me and you and the relationships we have with ourselves and each other. And I think that's just incredible. All from this like little box of pills and a crazy meal plan that's like 125 pages long because <laughs> it has recipes and stuff, like don't freak out. Um, and yeah, it's just amazing. Do you guys have any questions before I go? Because I know I've just been rambling on and on. I'm so glad that you guys were here watching me talk about this. It was a beautiful thing. I have that album full of pictures that I shared. Um, so go look at my Ultimate Reset a photo album if you want to see like the food and the shakes and the blah 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 the the su supplements whatever I don't know I hope you guys have a fantastic night Erica you're starting April 1st it's already there oh that's awesome I'm so excited for you I if you have any questions get involved in the group there's Facebook groups for phase one phase two and phase three the three different weeks there's a pre um, reset group that you can be a part of make sure you just get in those groups there are um, lists that are in the booklet and in the Facebook groups of all the substitutions you can make um, Heather nut allergies I'm trying to think if there is like you put like pine nuts and pumpkin seeds on your salad you don't have to do that leave them off I don't there's I think that's it that as far as an, a nut would be concerned in any of the recipes, it would just be a topping. So I don't think there would be anything to worry about about nut allergies. I hope that helps. Hey Mindy, hey Legra. I'm so excited you guys are here. <laughs> Is there anything else you guys wanna know about Ultimate Reset before I let you go? Your sister's doing it too? Oh, that is awesome. Um, okay, so vegan Shakeology for Ultimate Reset. That is a great question. So um, Shakeology is not listed as part of, I'm so excited I'm awake. That's amazing. Um, Shakeology is not listed as part of the Ultimate Reset plan. However, you guys know I'm a beach body coach. You know I'm obsessed with Shakeology. So of course I was drinking my Shakeology because there's literally nothing in there that I need to have detox for my system. It's full of probiotics and prebiotics, things that are good for your gut flora, things that are helpful with cravings. Um, Crystal, there is a website and I will post the link um, down in here. I'll message you and send the link to you because there it's, it's really easy to get to and it answers a lot of questions that I probably don't even know how to answer. Um, so for the first week I had regular Shakeology in the afternoon with my Power Greens, which is one of the little powders. It's actually the same as a Shakeology Boost Power Greens. So it was something Jason and I are already putting in our shake. You're welcome. <laughs> and it was no big deal. So I just threw it in there, shake it up, had it in my afternoon snack. It was great. Um, and then week two and week three, I already had a bag of vegan chocolate Shakeology from doing a three-day refresh. So I used that and it was great because I was trying to follow the idea of the difference between the regular and vegan Shakeology is that there is whey protein in the regular and then there's pea protein in the, in the vegan. So I was trying to follow the idea behind the ultimate reset of, of slowly moving towards a vegan diet. That's why I changed in week two and week three for the vegan Shakeology. Does that help? All right guys, do you have any more questions? 
I hate that there's like a delay because then I'm just like do 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 do. <laughs> These guys are so fun. Okay, good. I saw a thumbs up for America. That's awesome. I'm so excited to find out about you guys. Um, Allegra, it could be a good way to start, and I think that we should definitely have a conversation about it because it depends on, ex let's just decide on exactly what your goals are. Um, is it easy to prep for the week? Heather, yeah, it actually kind of is. Like, um, the first, since I am a work from home person, the first week I didn't do any prep ahead of time, and it was like a lot of chopping vegetables for my salads and stuff. Um, and then like planning my afternoon to make sure I had like anything I need to roast or bake like ready for my scheduled dinner time. So my recommendation for that is to definitely um, get your everything your shopping done for the next week on like Saturday or Sunday morning and spend Sunday prepping, chopping, doing things that will be easy to reheat or throw together throughout the week because that's just going to make your life a lot easier, especially if you work outside of the home and you need to do that. Um, Erica, did you use all organic? No, I didn't. I try to eat organic as much as I can, but the, I will say there, you do spend a lot of money because you're eating a lot more, well, not a lot of money. Okay, let's hold back. You're gonna spend more money than you imagine because you're probably used to, I don't know you specifically, but let's just say the general you, like I was used to buying food substances that were cheaper, but I've been introducing more and more organic into my diet, and so I did try to go with that for the most part. Sometimes I couldn't find specific things that I needed in the organic, so I would get conventional. And one thing that I would definitely recommend is look up the Dirty Dozen Clean 15. They change the list every year, but it's basically the same. And it's a list of fruits and vegetables that are either the Dirty Dozen, you wanna always buy organic because they have the most susceptible pesticides being on the skin or in the um, actual food itself if you're concerned about pesticides which is the reason most people are concerned with organic versus conventional grown food um, and then the clean 15 it doesn't matter if they're organic or conventional because they that particular kind of plant vegetable fruit whatever doesn't absorb or or collect um, the pesticides and whatnot the way that the others just do so it doesn't really matter um, Heather Jordan, what about kids? Do you make different food for them while you're on the program? That's a great question, Heather. Um, I don't actually have kids, but I do have a husband. So he uh, luckily is pretty self-sufficient. We did have the same meals a lot of the time, but he would also make his own meals and, or just have extra servings. In the, in the booklet, it tells you um, this is how much a serving is. Men can add blah, 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 a little bit extra because men just inherently are bigger than women and their metabolism is different than ours. Um, but he would basically be eating the same meal as me. If I had kids, this is probably gonna be a controversial statement, but I firmly believe that if you have healthy food in the house, your kids will eat healthy food and they're not gonna starve themselves. They might whine and bitch and have a fit every, you know, because they want something you don't have, but if you have healthy food in the house, they're not gonna starve, they're gonna eat the healthy food. It might take a few days, it might take a week, it doesn't matter, and if I had kids, I would be feeding them the more nutritious food that I, I talked about earlier. It's not good food, it's not bad food, it's more nutritious, it's less nutritious. And so if I had the choice, if I was able to have children and I was feeding them, I'd be doing the most healthy thing I could for them because that is, gonna what, is what's gonna set them up for a healthy lifestyle in the future. That's not something that I had. My mom did the best that she could with me, my brother, growing up, but we did not live, grow up with really great healthy choices. We grew up with like pretty good healthy food, but then also like a lot of Southern cooking. So the idea that you have to give your, your kids junk food because they're gonna complain if they don't have it, I just kind of don't buy it and yeah I'm not a parent and I get that however I know people my coach Mindy is on here this is exactly what she's done she has healthy food in her house her kids eat healthy food they don't know how they can't go buy food on their own if they're teenagers and they want to go buy some you know less nutritious food then that's their choice but <laughs> your little kids are gonna eat what you make for them eventually 
So that's a really great question. Um, I would just in, be sure, like, if a, with this kind of a program, um, you're changing you're changing so much in such a short time, you might want to just make sure there's nothing that your pediatrician would want you to, would, to be concerned about because they, um, it is a lower calorie diet, but it's based on an adult. So I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm not a doctor. I don't know. Um, let's see. I know I missed a question here. Um, can I please post that in the comments? Erica, what did you want me to post in the comments? Just say that again, please. Um, Allegra said, is BB and Shakeology good if I suffer from IBS? Um, yeah, I actually have a bunch of people on our team, Allegra, that have um, all kinds of different digestive issues. And I can get a lot of testimonials for you of um, what it's done to help regulate that. And changing your diet is always going to help. And I personally haven't had like Crohn's or IBS or colitis or anything like that. However, just as a n normal person, I am much more regular and I feel great now. So, um, Jenny says, yes, feed your kids the same healthy food. Monica, same here. Yes. <laughs> Erica, Rebel doesn't have a choice. No, he does not. <laughs> Erica's talking about my coach, Mindy. Her son, Rebel, is seven. He has grown up on healthy food because that is what she has in the house because she is a Beachbody coach and she is committed to a healthy lifestyle so she can live the healthy, most fulfilling, amazing life she can and help everyone she knows do that too, which is exactly what my mission is. So here's at least like three or four people that say, yeah, just give your kids the healthy food. Uh, Jenny agrees with me. Yeah. Oh, okay. The pesticide fruit comment. Yeah. I'll put that in the comments. The clean 15, the dirty dozen. I'll see if I can find the link and post that up there for you guys too. Um, you just heard the timer go off. I baked that, uh, vanilla nutmeg oatmeal thing that I posted the other day and I'm super excited to see how it is in the morning. Uh, okay. Good night, Allegra. I love you. Have a great night. We'll talk soon. Um, Okay, do you guys have any other questions? This is like the most amazing live video I've ever done. I've never had so many people ask so many things, and I love it. <laughs> hey, Melissa. I'm so excited you guys are all here. I mean, just to wrap it all up, I think that Ultimate Reset is just a killer program that is going to change the way you feel about yourself, the way you feel about food, the way you look at food. And you just have to open, like put your ego aside, open your heart up, and give it a try, just like changing your diet, just like trying to work out, just like starting Shakeology. I was the biggest skeptic about Shakeology. I sent my first bag back. And now I can't live without it. Uh, love you too, Monica. Okay, so I, if you guys have any more questions, I'll go through and read the comments and I'll check and see. So just post them below. And I think that, um, I think this is really amazing to be able to share this journey with you guys and I really appreciate every single one of you that stopped by here and cared what I had to say about this. Like, what a freaking amazing gift. And I got that from Beachbody too. So, I love you guys. I love you all. Have a fantastic night. I'm trying to like look at the comments and make sure I don't miss anything and hang up like right before somebody says something. <laughs> You're welcome, Heather. Hey, Tom. You, Tom, you got here just in time for me to say goodbye. I love you guys. I'm so proud of everyone for sticking with this crazy ranty video I did. <laughs> you guys are awesome. I love you. Bye.